Okay, today we're going to be looking at the Royal Purple 30-8A oil filter. And you can get this at O'Reilly Auto Parts for $15.99. So let's get started. This is step four. It's supposed to be a good idea to go to get your inner ear. Filtration of anywhere in here. What's this? Medium. 99% filtration efficient. Okay, let's start with the box. It has a lot of important information on here. 100% synthetic micro glass media. 99% filtration efficiency. And I checked on their website and that's at 25 and above microns. So that's a pretty good micron rating. Also, it says silicone and drain back valve. Manufactured by Champion Laboratories, Porter, Texas. Let's take a look at her, see what she looks like. We've got product of USA, a date code of 060618C2137. Royal Purple. This is a sticker. This fits my uh, Ford Explorer and Jeeps. Also, a little instructions here. It's a pretty good size filter. It's got some weight to it. Got eight in the holes, with one being larger than the rest for some reason. And this O ring gasket here is really on here. I tried taking it off with my fingernails, but it's. I could get it off. It's really on there. I don't know if it's glued or what. Also, you got a lot of threads here. A lot, I see a lot of grooves. And I believe it has an upper bypass valve because I see a spring there. Looks like a metal core with holes. And actually, they, they show a picture of it on the box. So it looks like it's got a wire mesh backing also, according to this picture. Hey, I see we open this baby up and see what she looks like inside. Okay, here she is cut open. Let's get her weight. She weighs 21.5 ounces. And how about the base plate? 8.5 ounces. It's a well-made base plate. It's very heavy. I want to show you this. I want to try to get this off. I couldn't get it off. I'll show you how good it's on here. It's all about hurting myself. <laughs> I think it's glued on. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Wow. Wow, that's a thick one. Look at that. Wow, that ain't coming off. Oh, that's the thickest one I've ever seen. That's definitely not going to stick to your block. Wow, they ought to all make them like this. This is a nice one. Yeah, it's a nice base plate. Okay, and any drain back valve, silicone. Nicely made. It's got these little guys on it because it's a. It's got the upper bypass valve. It's got an upper bypass valve built in. See that? Built right into the filter here. The end cap. Metal end caps. I counted 35 pleats. And this is a strange seam right here. I don't know if it's like fused or crimped together down there. But you can see it's got a metal metal screen backing. And I'll see it afterwards when I cut it open. But I counted 35 pleats, this being one of them. And they're pretty evenly spaced. They just got they got a little sloppy with the glue right here. 
You can see that's a big chunk of glue there. But the rest of it looks fine. Just that spot. Let's get the width on her. Well, let's get the... How about the can, too? You got your stamp leaf spring. And this I can't understand why they put a hole in it when the bypass valve is up top. You don't need a hole down here. I don't know why. You know, this, it just, I would think it uh, makes it weaker. And they actually should make it a little bigger. I don't know why they don't. But, you know, I don't know. Okay, let's see the width on this. Well, the thickness. We'll see the thickness on this can. This can didn't open too easily, so 0.4 millimeter. Yeah, it's a thick 0.4 though, because it's a well-made can. It didn't open too easy. For the heck of it, just get the weight. 5.3 ounces for the can. And the filter media is seven ounces e even and let's get some width here zero it's a big filter 3.59 inches wide two point nine seven that way and 4.13 that way. How much does this guy weigh? 0.4 ounces. Yeah, this is pretty thick media, heavy duty. It's definitely heavy duty stuff here. You know, this ain't gonna tear, that's for sure. That's what I like about these filters, though. You'll never see one of these tear. I, I just, I can't see it tearing. There's no way. And that's a nice bypass valve, too. It's too bad. Too bad with the glue. Maybe it just happened I get a, I got a lot, I picked a lousy one. I don't know. Seems like every filter I open up, it's got some kind of defect to it. <laughs> but, uh, I say we open this baby up and, uh, See how long she is. Okay, here she is all stretched out. And she's 52 and a quarter inches long. She could probably actually go to 53, but I left a little slack at the seam just to show you guys the seam on here. Okay, and here's the seam. And... She did come apart when I was pulling on it, but it, it took some effort to pull on it, so, I mean, you know, I don't think it'd come apart when it was inside the filter. And here's your wire backing, and this, this definitely will never tear. I mean, this won't tear. This filter media will tear, but it's still pretty, it, you know, it tears pretty easily, but with this, they all they actually all tear anyways pretty easily, but with this wire backing it, it's not gonna tear at all. I'm trying to get it apart, but it's pretty it's like fused together or something. I don't know. See look at that. It doesn't come apart too easily. Anyways, that's where the seam is. It's pretty good. It's you know, this filter media itself is uh was it ninety nine percent at twenty five mic microns, so that's a pretty good micron rating. And being a 100% synthetic micro glass filter media. This filter media is fine on this thing. And let's go back to this and let's check out the rest of the filter. Well, you got a nice anti drain back valve. These are nice. I like this. I like these upper bypass valves. These are. I wish I knew what the setting was on this. I couldn't find, couldn't find it anywhere. But. When it's in there like this, the oil comes down in through here. And and if your filter's all clogged for some reason, you know, it's not going to pick up 
debris on your filter and come down here and go through a bypass valve. Instead, it would come straight in, straight through, and then into this way, into these holes, and out of here. In case some of you guys didn't know. I mean, most of you guys know this, but I figured I'd just show you. You know, they put these little these little tab things on here, like, so it doesn't get squished all the way down when the oil's flowing in. It's pretty good. It, I like these things. These are nice. And the O-ring gasket on this one is a nice too, because this this way ain't gonna come off. I had a hard time prying that off with a with a knife there. And uh, kids, don't do that at home, please. Shouldn't play with knives that way. And the only thing I don't like, I don't care for these guys. You know why they have a hole there, I don't know, but I would prefer a coil spring any day. And you know that's about it for this filter. I mean. It's got a nice base plate. Filter media is nice. Got a lot of holes here. This is all nice and sturdy. Nice can. It was a little bit of extra glue on it, but it, you know, wasn't. I've seen a lot worse. But it's a pretty pricey oil filter. So me personally, I would go with a Fram Ultra. You know, it's you can get them at Walmart for like nine dollars. The price is almost half. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. Don't forget Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. It's free and it makes you feel good. Thanks for watching and take care.